Hi, this is Derek the Nitwit, and happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome to December, and to all my guy friends out there, congratulations on surviving November. So tomorrow is my birthday. I really don't have any big plans. It's Monday, so that's my creative arts group. Um, and on Tuesday, I'm going to the dentist because I broke a tooth the other day. I grew up on well water, so I didn't get fluoride, you know, growing up like most people do in the city do, does. Um, and I have a tendency to grind my teeth and, you know, both when I'm sleeping and then if I get stressed out during the day, I'll catch myself grinding my teeth. So I'm used to, you know, breaking teeth and having to get fillings and things like that. At least I don't mind going to the dentist. I actually find the sound of the drill relaxing and, and more than likely will end up falling asleep during dental work. Tuesday was the crochet class with my sister. Um, she's left-handed like I am, but she was having a hard time getting the hang of it until we switched her to right-handed crocheting and then she just took off. Um, and it went from just having a whole time, hard time even holding the hook to suddenly she was able to crochet and her stitches look nice. I mean, they're, they're even, they're pretty. And she was able to read patterns and actually make granny squares by the end of it. So she was, she was moving faster than I was to start with. Thursday was Thanksgiving. I went to Golden Corral with my sister and my nephew. It was a lot busier than I was expected it to be, but we did have some fun. So, and it has been a lazy week, you know, just because of the holiday, I'm still working on David's scarf. This is from the, um, the yarn that I won from Crystal from Bag of Day. It's the Cartopo, Cartopo, it's probably backwards, basic and basak, I'm not sure, but it's a 30% wool, 70% acrylic, eh. so I'm working on that one, it's it's a little bit smaller than, your, your lighter weight yarn than what the pattern calls for, but it, it looks good, it's just taking a little bit to get some length to it, but then again, you know, scarves take me forever anyway when I'm knitting them. And I started on Chuck's knit hat, the pattern that I like, and it's the easy part so far, you know, just the knit to purl to. This is the, the Isaac Mizrahi craft. It's the same yarn that I used for the other hat and scarf I made uh, set that I made for him. Now, when I'm out and about, I have gone back to working on my junk blanket. That's just, you know, the yarn that's left over from you know, you know, other projects that I can't use it for or yarn that otherwise would have been tossed out. And it's just more of something to do when I'm out, um, you know, to keep me from being bored and killing the battery while I'm out, you know, waiting on the bus. And so I've also started working on a crocheted bunny. I've got the head so far. And this is line brand color waves and the color is ocean drive and it says it's a lightweight three yarn i know that as far as like diameter it's a little bit bigger than the four size four yarn i usually work with um, but i like it so far and i've got my bag of button eyes that i got from ebay so i don't have to embroider the the eyes on uh, on my little plushies that I make so and I'm still I've got the crocheting the um, you know just a little perfect the call this pattern is called it a perfect sphere but I've got that down so uh, now that I'm getting kind of the habit or the the idea and the concept of making the different plushies and different things hopefully soon I'll be able to kind of start you know designing my own little stuffed animal stuffed toy things so and um uh, you know I've, my phone's going crazy over here i've also been working on the light chick rug kit um you know when you very first started it's just the same you know the, you start at the bottom and you work up and it's just the fence for the first you know five or six rows so i'm finally starting to get into the tails of the cat that's on there so now crystal from bag a day did nominate me on the the 20 question videos so i've got my questions um what does your name mean 
well, Derek means ruler of the people and Alexander means defender of the people, which I think is kind of funny because I am usually an avoider of the people. <sighs> Where am I from? I grew up in Choctaw, Oklahoma. I graduated from Choctaw High School in 95. Where was I born? I was born Midwest City, Oklahoma. Same place. Both my sisters were born. What would my parents have named me if I'd been born, been born, been born, uh, opposite gender? My dad wanted to name me Kathy and my mom wanted Kathleen. What is my biggest accomplishment? I walked from Norman, Oklahoma to Panama City Beach, Florida and 881 miles, I believe it was. And that was, I did that in 2000 and I left the end of August, 2010, came back the day after Mother's Day, 2011. What is your eye color? Blue. Everyone in my family is blue, although my sister tends to be more kind of a blue green color. So. What is my favorite candle scent? I like cotton, laundry scent, thing, you know, clean scents like that. I don't like food scented anything. If it's food scented, I better be able to eat it. Can I cook? I can. I usually don't, but I can cook. I can cook technically. Like I can follow a recipe. That's pretty much the only way I can cook is by following a recipe. I'm not one of those people that can just kind of create my own recipe. And I can eventually modify a recipe after I've, you know, learned it. And, you know, I mean, obviously you know, like I can switch out ground chicken for ground turkey, you know, stuff like that. But as far as just looking at random ingredients in my kitchen and coming in with milk. Mm -mm, can't do it. I'd end up eating a can of soup or cereal or something. So, what is good about my life right now? My little crackhead cats who seriously have got the zoomies going on right now. And, you know, they are, they're what keep me going. So they're the good thing about my life. What is my sign? Generally, it's going to either be fragile, handle with care, or content under pressure. Although I'm pretty sure that this question is actually talking about astrological sign, and that would be Sagittarius. So, considering my birthday's tomorrow, yeah. Um, what scares me about aging? My biggest fear has always been being trapped in my body, completely aware of everything, but unable to communicate. So, things like you know, having a massive stroke that left me paralyzed or, you know, ALS, things like that terrifies me. Um, now, if, you know, my mind were gone, I would assume I wouldn't have a problem if I'm not aware of anything. But if I were aware, but just trapped, um, it would drive me bonkers. That's like even when people talk about being in a vegetative state, until you can prove beyond a shadow of a doubt to me that I wouldn't be aware, but just unable to let you know I'm aware, yeah, that's still on my no, not doing it list. What is my favorite holiday? I really don't care for holidays. Um, growing up, life was a little stressful, so holidays tended to be fairly stressful. Um so I just remember one of the, we always joked that it was a holiday tradition was you don't put the Christmas tree up until the very last minute. Cause it was going to get through The longer it was up, the more, more times it was going to get thrown out the front of the house or front, thrown out the front door. So yeah, our Christmas tree was kind of pitiful looking, but I mean, it's like, you know, we had good Christmases. They were just stressful and I don't date anyone. Both my parents have passed away and it's pretty much, the only family that I really talk to is, you know, my sister and her son. I have another sister in Texas, but, you know, we all have our own lives, so I don't talk to her very often. Um, so holidays, to me, they're just more of an inconvenience with shops are closed. Um, the buses may not run as often or the mail doesn't come. So, you know, they're just not that big of a deal to me. I will tell you, though, I absolutely hate April Fool's Day. I'm gullible. I fall for everything. My oldest sister um, had to have a hysterectomy years ago. And 
two or three years after that, she posted on April Fool's Zoom that she just found out she was pregnant. I fell for it, knowing it was physically impossible. Still fell for it. <coughs> I fall for everything. So yeah, my plan every year on April Fool's Day is I just, I don't go on social media. I don't leave my house. I don't deal with people because I will fall for everything. What is my guilty pleasure? Cheerleading and dancing movies. Like the, the Bring It On series. Love them. Love watching cheerleaders. Synchronized dancing. Um, never been a fan of Dancing with the Stars, but um, there were, you know, like Footloose, I liked watching. I liked watching Flash Mobs, things like that. You know, all the, the synchronized dancing, these large scale dancing. I love stuff like that. I have absolutely no talent for dancing for myself. I can tap my feet in time to the music. I can bob my head to the music. I am so stiff, both, you know, physically and like emotionally, I'm inhibited or whatnot that I just, I can't dance. I gave up trying probably before I even made it out of junior high, but I love watching. It's, it's just amazing. These things that people can do with their bodies. And so yeah, my guilty pleasure. I have all of the Bring It On series on my computer. And I watch them at least once a year. My favorite TV show to binge watch, NCIS. I have to have my Gibbs fix. I actually have a, I am several weeks behind and I'm that's kind of intentional because I'm gonna wait till I have probably about half the season and then I'm going to sit there and binge watch it all in one day. I was also, um, I liked the big bang theory. I'm sad that it's over. Um, I do watch young Sheldon, which is cute and criminal minds. I liked, um, I'm not, I need to look to see if it's sorry, the crackheads are fighting. Um, I need to see if there's still any more seasons on it. But yeah, but my main thing is NCIS. And it's got to be the original NCIS. I've not really been able to get into, you know, the offshoots, the NCIS, was it New Orleans or whatever. But before that, you know, I liked all the, the CSI shows. Um, I'm big about police procedurals. Um, Law and Order SVU, back when Christopher Maloney was still on it. And. Uh, Think, you know, stuff like that. Okay. So what is one thing you can't leave the house without? My cell phone. I, everything in my life is on my cell phone. You know, my audio books, my, you know, social media, my bus pass is electronic and it's on my phone. Um, I use Google Maps because it tells me when the next bus is coming. You know, I play Harry Potter, the, you know, the Wizards Unite, which is kind of like Pokemon Go. But, um, yeah, I have to have my phone. Am I a morning person or a night owl? I'm a night owl. It is far easier to stay up than it is to get up. Um, I have at least been able to reset my body clock to whatever schedule I've needed. So, you know, that thankfully, you know, it's never, if I've had jobs where I've had to get up early in the morning on a consistent basis. And so I can switch to getting up early. Um, but my natural default, you know, left to my own device is always going to be stay up late. And that goes back to what I was talking about last week with FOMO or the fear of missing out. So yeah. what is my favorite genre of movies? Action adventure movies. Um, the so Jumanji is coming out. The next one, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I like the, you know, the Marvel universe. I've never, I was never much of a comic book person as a kid, but I do like the, you know, the Avengers and Captain America, you know, those really, really like Iron Man. Um, yeah, just action adventure movies. What was the last thing I bought? Was a three ring binder to organize my knitting. So I now have two binders. So we've got the one for crochet, for my crochet projects, and then the one for knitting projects. So, and, 
am I an introvert or an extrovert? I'm an ambivert, um, which means I can be an introvert at some times and extrovert at other times. I tend to spend most of my time on the hermit side of being an introvert, though. What is my favorite book? I don't have just one favorite book. I do have, you know, like, I love the Harry Potter series. I also like the Chronicles of Narnia. I even like the Twilight series. I tend to like series of books better than just, like, one set book. Just series last longer. Um, I do a lot of my reading nowadays is actually as audiobooks, which I use the, is it the Overdrive? Let me get my, see, my phone I can't leave my house with, without. Um. Yeah, Overdrive is the app, and I it pairs up with the public library in my area, which I, you can manage the library, so it, it works with a lot of different libraries. But you can check out audiobooks, ebooks, whatnot. So um, I just finished. Uh, let's see who was it that we did? Um, it. my history um someday by david levithan david levithan writes he's written a lot of books that i like um will grayson but the someday series was about that boy that a who is in a different body every day and there were three books and a prequel type book that um I've done the three main books. I've got the prequel. So far, it's only an ebook, so I haven't got around to it yet. Um, yeah, but David Levithan has a lot of good books on there. Um, and then Michael Grant has this series, Monsters, I think is what it was called. Um, if I can bring it up. Yeah, the Gone series. And that was a good series and so i think i'm on to the last book or the latest book at least with that one so i know as a kid i read more than i do as an adult but also as an adult i have other things that i know how to do to amuse myself so i'm usually you know audiobook videos knitting crocheting a whole lot of things going all at once so so that's the 20 questions about me. That's my update this week with what I'm up to. Um, I'm not sure who I should tag for the 20 questions because it looks like a lot of people are doing it. So I don't know who, who has done and who hasn't. So I'm just going to tag everyone who's watching this. If you've got your own channel, make your own um, 20 questions video. So everyone have a good week. Enjoy the tail end of autumn before we changes to winter in a couple weeks. And Stay safe and avoid that Christmas music because it's not time yet. See you next week.